love. We'll let that rock out for a minute. You better walk to this. You better walk to this. Get that Jerry throw bag out. Well, y'all better walk to that one. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Mac Lessons Radio Show. My name is Tariq Elite. I'm your gracious host. Glad to have everybody tuning back into the show today. We're going to chop up some very good game today. Today's show is brought to you by CashCowGreen.com. That's where you can get your suit game up, get your clothing on, get suited and booted for the ladies. Today's show is also brought to you by MegaMates.com. Megamates is a telephone dating company that's been helping people find dates for over 17 years. Millions of single men and women call Megamates to make friends and find dates and have casual encounters every single day. You can call them at 888-MEGAMATES or you can go to Megamates.com. Also, people, don't forget, man, the Mackish package that I have available, that's going to be available for only two more days. The Valentine's Mackish package. You got until this coming Friday to get it, so you got two days left. So go to MacLessons.com to get the Macish package. Also, you're still invited to come check me out at um, the University of Houston, February 27th, and the Chicago Center of the Performing Arts, March 3rd, 2010. You guys can go get your tickets at MacLessons.com, or you can call us up at 8. 8- 18 what what's the phone number 818 I'm sorry guys 818 322 4524 818 322 4524 Now today is going to be a good show I'm going to chop up some real good game but let me see who's on the phone What's up who's calling Hello Hold on We got a lot of folks calling right now we're going to answer the calls in a minute we got a lot of people calling I want the the flow to be consistent let's see who's on the phone Hello Hello What's, hey, what's good, Tyreek? What's up? Who is this? What's good? This is Prez calling from, you know what I'm saying, Houston, Texas. What's up, Prez? I actually go to the U of H. Oh, word. What's the, what's the vibe down there on the campus right now? Well, you know what I'm saying? Right now, actually, it's sweet and it's cold, man. People talking about going to Dallas tomorrow for the All-Star, but I don't really know. I got family out there, but it's going to be snowing out there and it's sleeting right here, right now. Damn, it's like the weather's that bad down in Dallas? Yeah, I mean, like it's like raining, raining, sleeting. I mean, but... The weather out here, it could be shining by tomorrow, but it's going to be cold in Dallas tomorrow for everybody that's going to be at the All-Star game. Okay, well, I hope everybody is safe out there at All-Star weekend, man. And are you coming to the seminar I'm doing out there? Oh, yeah, you know, I have to. When I actually heard that she's going to be coming to, to my school in the Houston room, you know what I'm saying? I actually know where that's at. You know, I'm going to have to be in there. I've been listening to you since, like, 2006. Oh, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Back when you, was in, back when you had, like, that other page. Oh, okay, there you go. There you go, man. I, I love to have you on down, man. Spread the word, man. I'm gonna have a good time down there in Houston, man. So I'll see you when I get down there. Thanks for thanks oh, for the yeah, call. You know I'm gonna have to bring everybody out. You better, man. I'm what you do, bro. That's what's up. Thanks for the call, player. What's up? Who's calling? Diego from Sacramento. What's going on, Tree? What's going on in Sac Town, man? What's happening with you? Man, I'm just chilling, man. Just another day. Um, I wanted to ask you: Are you ever gonna do a podcast on just books, like what you uh, what you can recommend to read for us players? Um, as far as looks? Yeah, just like on anything, just like, you know, what we can get from any books. Oh, books, that's what you said. Okay, I thought you said looks. Yeah, you know, I am um, probably uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do a, a whole show about different kind of books that I've read. So I'm going to do like one show about that. I know a lot of people wanted me to do a book club, but that would take up too much time. So I'm going to do one long show about different types of books that have influenced me. And I'm going to give a lot of book recommendations. So you guys stay tuned for that, man. All right. Cool, cool. Thanks, man. Thanks for the call, player. Okay. All right. Peace. All right, but let me let me get into some game real quick. You know what? I got a lot of um, emails today. A lot of people are talking about these comments that the um, <clears throat> musician John Mayer made about black females. John Mayer, he did a Playboy interview. And allegedly, John Mayer said something to the effect of, um, well, the interviewer asked him, um, do black women throw themselves at you? And John Mayer replied, well, I don't think I opened myself up to it. My dick is sort of like a white supremacist. Okay. Then he goes on to say, I have a Benetton heart and I have a fucking David Duke dick. I'm going to have to start separating 
I'm gonna start dating separately from my dick. So he basically said he don't, he's not sexually attracted to black women, basically. But he said it in a very slick way. And some people are trying to rationalize what he said. What he said was an insult. You know, you can't really rationalize it. It is what it is. But the thing is, I'm not shocked. I mean, they caught this guy. He he had a real honest moment. Now, a lot of people on the Internet are kind of riled up, but nothing is going to happen. Black women ain't going to do shit, but complain amongst each other. But they're not going to say anything publicly about John Mayer. I was on Ustream last week. What's up to all my Ustream people? And I was on Ustream and there was a young lady, beautiful black girl. She was on there and she asked me, she said, Tariq, I'm dating this white dude and he called me a nigger. He got mad and called me a nigger. Should I break up with him? And I, I really didn't even bother answering her. I mean, are, are sisters this sleep out here? Are you guys just that happy to be on the damn plantation? I mean, these white dudes are really coming correct, letting you know what they think about you. Like, well, y'all ain't going to do shit. So that's why I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. Because I've talked about it a million times before. Go listen to the show I did, what, show number 220, when I was addressing the black women on ABC. I let you know then what they really think about you. And now they're coming out letting you know what they think about you. Black women ain't going to say shit. A lot of these black women let these white dudes say all types of outlandish, crazy stuff to you. And you just sit there batting your eyes. When Don Imus, y'all remember he called black women nappy-headed hoes? The black women didn't publicly come out and say anything about Don Imus. No, no female black public figures. Oh, they came out and, 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 and said black men were the cause of it because of the hip-hop lyrics. They found a way to throw black men under the bus. But black women ain't going to say shit about no white man. Publicly. So it's a non-issue. It is what it is. I've spoken on that before. White dude says all types of crazy, insulting, outlandish things. And sisters just sit there twiddling their thumbs. Now let a black dude come up to you being polite. Shit. And then you guys will chop his head off. A brother will step to you and be like, hey, sister, how you doing? Nigga, I don't know you. Who, Nigga, who you talking to? You know, y'all come, y'all jump real bad on the brothers. But white dudes, they come out and say some real crazy shit. And you just bat your eyes quiet as a church mouse but i digress people anyway let me move on to some some real issues right now let me get on this phone real quick what's up who's calling it's rashid man what's up rashid where you calling from pimp sauce stl man that's what's up what's going on out there in st louis baby oh man it's cold as hell man it's like about about 30 degrees right now there's snow on the ground but it's all good okay what's on your mind player Hey man, I, I got a question. Like, um, you know, at what point do you think a player know, you know, to re- retire his car, you know, jump out the window and you know get married? Like, what sign will, will come into play, you know, to take that? Well, that, see, that means when you're ready to a player's ready to settle down, that usually means that he's in the third degree stage of player dumb. Because all players go through three stages, and I talked about that before. The first degree player stage is when a guy acknowledges that he wants to get a quantity of women a guy this usually happens right after a guy um divergenizes himself he gets out there in the game he starts dating and he says look i want to get as many women as i can get that's the first degree player then the second degree player this is a guy who has mastered the techniques of getting women and he's relishing in the game then when a guy graduates or if he graduates to the third degree level he starts to look at the quality instead of quantity he's like i want to find one top-notch woman because i want to be practical and that sounds like where you at right now how do you sound like a young dude nah i'm, I'm 27 well i'm 27 when we turn 28 okay yeah yeah so you, you're going through the stage correctly you're about to hit 30 so you, you you've done the thing you've ran through a few rats you um, you know, has some top notches here, some low levels there. So you're ready to really get that one qualified one, and you'll know when you get her. You dig what I'm saying? I think I got her. Okay. I got her. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you know, I mean, she, she like a bend, but you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, I guess like you used to, you know, fucking with hood rats. You know, the hood rats. You know, you can fuck them any type of way. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, with a quality chick, you know, you don't have it. It's kind of like that's the only thing that draw me back a little bit because I don't get that type of, 
all our crazy sex was ahead with the ranch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but see, you, you got to be practical. So you got to bring the freak out of that Benz. You did. You got to bring the, 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 the stank out of her. And the stank has yeah, to be yeah. balanced because the thing is, a lot of guys, they'll throw away a practical relationship, a woman who can cook, clean, bring some to the table and help him grow as a man. You'll throw that away for the stank with the good yeah, pussy exactly. who knows how to pop her ass real good. Popping ass, you can't really get no... No, no home, and you can't really invest and get no mutual funds with the ass popper. You dig what I'm saying? It, unless it's on some pimping hoe and shit, but that's a whole different story. But anyway, man, let me get back to some more game. Thank you for the call, player. Let me see. We got somebody. It look like they're from D.C. What's up? Who's calling? Hello? This nigga calling. Yo. What's up? You playing music, player? Hello? What's up, man? Where you at? A club somewhere? Hello? Player, can you hear me? This dude. Boy, y'all say no to drugs, people. Don't call up to the show and you just got you a toke of a good blunt. Y'all fucking up the continuity of the show. What's up? Who's calling? Okay, I'm going to take one more call, man. These people, they're, they're fucking up my flow, man. Hello? Hello? Okay, motherfuckers ain't saying shit. All right. Anyway, yo, let me get into some game. You, you still on? Who is this? Okay. Well, they are fucking up the flow of the show. Maybe I'm, I might be having technical difficulties. Who knows? But let me get into some game. And I apologize for the slowing down of the show. All right. I'm going to read a letter from a guy that I got. From a, I'm going to read a letter from a, uh, an email that I got from a guy. That sounded real moist, but don't trip. The phone lines are lighting up. I'm trying to see if it's my line or theirs. What's up? Who's calling? What's going on? The radio J from Dallas. Okay, these guys can hear me. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm having technical di- difficulties. We got a motherfucker. We got a bunch of people who are snowed in smoking crystal meth. They ain't got nothing to do but smoke, and they're calling my damn show. Right, what's going on? What's on your mind, man? Man, I'm chilling, man. Getting ready for All Star Weekend. Had a quick question for you. Go ahead. All right. So you know, we live. I live out here in Dallas. I'm dating this girl, and uh, but you know, really that much of a big deal because I know all the party scenes. I know all the clubs. But my girl, she's like, she's going all out, man. She bought tickets to all the parties. She's getting all new clothes. She got friends, you know, coming in. So just wondering, should I be concerned about that, or should I just, you know? Play it, I go into school. Now, how long y'all been dating? About a, about a, about a good year now. You know, I don't really hit the clubs as, clubs as much as I used to. You know, I, I chill, you know. Now, you know. Nice day, we do our little dates. Okay. So, it, it might be an innocent thing. I wouldn't put too much on it because it is All-Star Weekend. Your, your, your lady is going to be hanging out with her homegirls. So, it's going to be a bunch of women trying to get attention. There's going to be a bunch of thirsty dudes sweating them. So they just want to have a good time. They just want to get attention from dudes. So I, I don't think that is going to be too much of a, a of an issue because it is a special event. So I wouldn't put that much stock on it. But, you know, if your lady starts getting extra, extra stank with it, you know, you might have to put up your antennas. But it, it should be a pretty innocent thing, man. You know your lady better than I do. So you know if you can trust her or not, right? Hello, this nigga here, hello? Okay, get that nigga. The game threw that nigga off, and he ran off. All right, anyway, let me get into the game, y'all. Okay, like I said, I got an email from a guy, and he said, Tariq, I'm dating this top-notch woman, very cute woman, and she works in the department at my job. She's real cool. She's a very slim Asian young lady. Very sexy. But the thing is, she's giving me mixed signals. One day she's pretty warm to me. One day she's real cold to me. Some days she'll come over and and watch a movie at the crib. And, you know, we, we do our thing. The next day she won't talk to me for like a week or so. Sometimes she will ignore my text messages. Sometimes when we plan on meeting up, she will flake out half the time. One time I even brought her to a company party and at the end of the night she just dipped out without giving up any ass. So this woman is really, really giving out mixed signals and is driving me nuts. I try to play it cool, but 
in reality, she's in control and is driving me nuts. The poontang is delicious. <laughs> you know, I got options and I'm not sweating it too hard, but I want to know how can I deal with this mysterious ass female? She's up, she's down, she's hot, she's cold. She has attachment issues, obviously. So what am I to do? What can I do as a man to get her begging for dick? This is what he said. The thing is, you got to get her begging for dick by stop begging for pussy. And you're just good old fashioned pussy whooped. And that's the thing with a lot of guys. A lot of you dudes are straight up pussy whooped. That's why these women are coming at you half ass. So he acknowledged this woman as being mysterious. She's not really mysterious. There's no mystery to her. She's reacting accordingly to a dude who's pussy whooped. That's how women act towards dudes who are pussy whooped because women can't control a pussy whooped dude. So they're going to flake out. They're going to be hot, cold, and giving out mixed signals and, and half ass. They do that with pussy whooped dudes because they can control pussy whooped dudes. You're like a little yo yo to her. You're a toy. You're there for her recreation. That's what women do to pussy whooped dudes. So what I have, I'm going to give you guys a 12-step program for your pussy addiction. Because a lot of you guys are addicted to the pussy. What's, who's on the phone? Hey, this is Jimmy J. Smooth from Memphis, Tennessee, man. Quick question, man. Is it true uh, Tiger Woods and his wife got back together? I don't know, man. There's so many mixed stories about that. I don't know what story is true and what story is not true. You dig? But, um... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people saying that she went, uh, she went, uh, they got back together after the hospital. So I was wondering if it's, if it's a confirmed truth or the, you know, so-called, you know, wanna, wanna be true. Story. Yeah, I don't know, man. You know, that's some gossip shit. You got to go to um, some of these gossip sites. They'll know all that shit. But anyway, thanks for the call, player. My lord. Hello, what's up? Who's calling? What's going on? Flex is Reds from Philly. What's good, Reds from Philly? How you doing, player? Yeah. Just want to give you shots out, man. Let's find out when you're coming to Philly. I don't know, man. You know what? I want to come to Philly. Um, I'm going to definitely come to D.C. We're looking at the end of March, the beginning of April. So the closest to Philly I might come is D.C. But I would like to come to Philly, though. I got a lot of love out of Philly. I got a lot of players out there. And uh, what's the weather? Is it snowing up in Philly right now? Oh, man, it's a blizzard. Shit, boy. Y'all are getting it out there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> y'all better stay at home and order all my pay-per-view specials, man, since y'all stuck in the house. Yeah, that's what y'all do. Y'all better use this time to soak up game. Tag it, tag it. There you go, tag man. Tag it, tag it. There you go, player. All right, man. Thanks for the call, Reg. All right, y'all. Let me get into the game. So, like I said, I got this 12-step program for pussy whoop dudes. Because being pussy whooped is like an addiction. And I want you guys to get your pens and get your paper. And let's have this 12-step program to help you kick that pussy habit. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to hit poontang, but don't get it, don't be addicted by it. Don't let that pussy control you. Because that's where you mess up. Okay, you guys ready? Let me put on some more Mackish music. Let me let me do that. Let me put on some more Mackin music. Alright. Okay, number one. The first part of the 12 step program, number one, you have to acknowledge that you have a problem. There's a lot of dudes out here who are pussy whooped and they don't believe that they're pussy whooped. They don't acknowledge that a problem is there. So that's step one. Now, step two, you cannot blame the female for your problem. A lot of guys, just like the guy in the e email, he was blaming the female for being mysterious and flaky and all this stuff. So you can't blame them. Like the old player said, whenever you have a problem with your female, you have to look within yourself and see what you did wrong. How did you cause the reaction in the female? That's the main step of being a true to the game player. So number two, don't blame the female for you being pussy whooped. You allowed yourself to get pussy whooped. Now number three, you have to understand that there is a power greater than that pussy. A lot of you guys make the vagina the end-all, be-all of power. That's your ultimate goal in life is to get that poontang. And there are other powers greater than that. When you get those other powers, the pussy option is optional. 
you don't have to let it control you. You can get it at your disposal because a lot of guys run after pussy all the time because it's rare to them. It's something that they're not used to getting. They don't know how to get it. So whenever the the pussy is dangled in their faces, they just grab onto it and hold onto it with dear life because it's a rarity to them. Now, the fourth step, you have to value yourself as a man. And I did a whole show about that. I did a podcast about that a couple of years ago. I think show number 15. Go back and listen to show number 15 on the Mac Lessons radio show. Value yourself as a man. As a man, you have to understand that there's great power in being a man. I know in our society, we teach men or they teach men that you are supposed to be subordinate to women to a certain degree. You have to value yourself as a man. Just like cats over in Eastern societies, manhood is valued still. Over here, if you value yourself as a man, you're considered misogynistic sometimes. You're considered chauvinistic. So don't be ashamed to be a man about whatever you do. All right. All right. Now, number five in the 12 step program on kicking your pussy whoop addiction. Number five, you have to disassociate yourself with pussy whip peers. The thing is, whenever you hang around other dudes who are just as pussy whipped as you are, you're going to remain in that same state. Just like a crackhead, if you're trying to kick a crack habit, you got to stop hanging around crackheads. So if you're trying to kick a pussy whoop addiction, you got to stop hanging around tricks. You got to stop hanging around dudes and, and your partners up in strip joints. You got to be very particular about where you hang out. Now, number six, you have to acknowledge the power of the game. There's a lot of guys out here who don't really want to acknowledge the game. They have this whole mentality that relationships are based on chance encounters and love and luck and random occurrences and the game is very real so you have to acknowledge the power of the game now number seven after you acknowledge the power of the game number seven you have to respect the game respecting the game will make the game work for you. If you talk to any street dude or any street player who's real thorough in the game, their whole vibe is about respecting the game. So in order for the game to work for you, you have to have respect for it. Now, number eight, you have to ask the power of the game to remove shortcomings and insecurities from your life. You have to ask on the power of the game to help you. Because acknowledging the game is one thing. Respecting the game is another thing. But asking for the game to help you is a whole different realm. So you have to do all three of those things. Now, number nine. You have to make it a point to associate yourself with other players. That's very important. That's why you need to gravitate towards guys who have tight game. You need to gravitate towards people who are spitting the same kind of ism that you want to spit. That's why y'all have to start coming out to my seminars. You got to start listening to players such as myself. And not just me. I'm not saying this to promote myself. But if there's some players in your community, start hollering at them. If you got players in your family, everybody has at least one good player in the family. You, you got an uncle or a stepbrother or a cousin somewhere with a lot of game. You need to start hanging with him and soaking that game up. Even if you have 100 tricks in your family, you got one player in that family, especially a black family. There's always one thorough ass player in the family. So you need to holler at cousin game, whoever his name is, the one who got the game. Now, number, what, what number am I at? What number am I at? Number 11? Okay, I'm at number 11. All right, number 11. I think I'm at number 11. Or number 10. What am I at? I think I'm at number 10. I got lost off track. I'm spitting this hot fire. All right, 
Number 10, I think I'm at 10. Number 10, you have to learn how to discipline yourself. That's very important too. Because if you don't have self-discipline, people can take control over you. You have to create a consistent disciplinary regimen for yourself. You go work out. Change your diet. You have to be consistent. But learn how to discipline yourself. Because you don't have no discipline. You don't have any order. And discipline is going to help you break that pussy whoop spell. Now number 11. Do not be afraid to disagree with women. Because this shows manhood. This shows strength. A lot of guys who are pussy whooped, they're pussy whooped, they'll let a woman just talk to them any kind of way, they're scared to be um, argumentative or disagreeable with women because they don't want to jeopardize their chances of getting sex and I've talked about this many times before so don't be afraid to disagree with women because this is going to help you get over your pussy whoop addiction and last but not least people, number 12 number 12, you need to Make a list of all the women who have pussy whooped you in the past. Let's make a list of all the women that have just dominated you with their vaginas in the past. Get that list and I want you to rebuke them. Rebuke these women, fellas. Just say a little prayer. Just bow your head and say, walk away, Satan. I rebuke thine energy. Thou has no dimension over me, no dominion over me. Walk away, Satan. Rebuke them in the name of the game. And then you keep on keeping it Mackish. Now I want you to follow those 12 step programs, guys, so you can really tighten your game up and stay crisp with it. Anyway, y'all, that's been today's episode of the Mac Lessons Radio Show. Don't forget to go to MacLessons.com, get all the pay-per-view specials, especially all my people on the East Coast who are snowed in. What's up, Trag? I don't know, my boy Trag is out there in Washington, D.C. I heard he's out there making gay snowmen. He got a snowman out there with some Daisy Dukes on and some leg warmers. And he put a, instead of the carrot on his nose, he put the carrot on the dick. I see you, Trag. Yo, I'm going to be on Ustream later on today. So you guys check me out on Ustream. I'll let you guys know. You guys hit me up on Facebook. My Facebook page is facebook.com slash Tariq Elite. You guys should add me right now. Also, you guys should add me to Twitter at twitter.com slash Tariq Nasheed. And I'll keep you guys posted on when I do the Ustream shows and just a whole bunch of game. I chop up game on those things all the time. Who's calling? DJ, what's going on, Flex? What's up, DJ? Where you located, Pimp Sauce? Oh, man, we out here in Maryland in this blizzard, man. Man, boy, y'all getting the business out there, man. What's going on in Maryland, player? Man, it ain't nothing going on out here. We trying to get out the All-Star Weekend. I was supposed to leave this morning. Yeah. The, the airport's closed. Damn, man, I hate to hear that, man. Damn, I hate yeah. to hear that. But, yeah, man, I'm trying to get out there your, your guys' way, man. I might be out there um, the last of March, the beginning of April, man. So you guys got to come through D.C., yeah, you keep talking about you coming to D.C. We waiting on the date now. I am, man. Hey, the, it was the venues. They were just killing us on the venues, man. But I think we might have some venues lined up. So I'll keep you guys posted on that, man. Thanks for the call, though, player. All right, y'all. Anyway, that's been today's episode of the Mac Lessons Radio Show. Don't forget the mac package. You got two days to get the mac package. All my um, Chicago people, get your tickets right now. All my Houston people, go ahead and get your tickets for me to come on out, chop up game. I love you guys. Peace. Peace.